Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, Matthew Sabe here for LockerGnome.com. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick overview slash review of a little app that I've been waiting to show you guys called Game Booster by iOrbit or iOrbit. Not sure how you pronounce that. But basically what Game Booster does is increase the performance of PC running games by shutting down all your background, or at least most of your background processes and unnecessary services. You can scroll down the list here and see all the different things that it does. Um, temporarily, of course. So you can see the big switch to gaming mode button. And I must tell you guys, I want to show you guys if it w I didn't prove it to work myself. Using Game Booster. It depends on the game, of course, depends on the day, the time, whether what you have running. But I can usually get anywhere from 5 to up to 15 more frames per second while running a game on my PC. So you can see the list here. You could also go ahead and defragment some game files if you go into this tab over here. Which uh, could also make some games run uh, with a little better performance. And as you see, we have the little configure button right here. Which you can go ahead and tell which exact services you want it to shut down or not. For example, um, I don't think I need iTunes Helper while I'm playing a game. Or, what I recommend, go ahead and show all current processes. This shows all the processes you, you have running. Which actually did come in huge, huge help for me one time. Which I was actually experiencing a lot of dropped frames in a game. And it turned out to be the fault of a driver from my bamboo tablet right here, which is necessary to shut down. So... Unless you really know what you're doing, I don't recommend shutting down anything you don't know what it is, of course. Of course, you can always go ahead and check all. Remember the settings for other times. And let's go ahead and switch to gaming mode. As you can see, it just switched my uh, color scheme there, or theme, as we call it in Windows. And you can see it already released 209... There you are. Megabytes of RAM, as you can see down here. Now, this doesn't just need to be for games, of course. You can use this for any time you're going to need a lot more freed up space or RAM or anything. And as you can see, like I said, of course, this is just temporary. Just go ahead, click back to normal mode to reinitialize. Of course, you can go ahead, go up to options, check for some updates, which I think there is, as we just saw pop up a minute ago. Edit service list, which, as you can see, go into all the little fine details and stuff. So anyways, I hope this will come in handy to some of you guys. I'm sure it will, uh, especially if you're running on a lower-end system or even a higher-end system with some more powerful games, this could really help out. So anyways, guys, this has been Matthew Savia for LockerGnome.com, YouTube.com slash LockerGnome. And as usual, you're welcome to come check out our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com, our question and answers community at LockerGnome.net, Chris.perillo.com, and of course, we're streaming live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live. Dot Perillo.com.